Hey everyone, Colleen Newman here, Century 21 Action Plus Realty. I decided to step outside for a minute. It's November 1st and enjoy as much as I can before winter heads our way. So in my sphere of influence recently, I've been noticing some people trying the for sale by owner approach, the FISBO as we call it. And rather than talk about why I think this is a bad idea, we're gonna put a positive spin approach on it and we're gonna wish them the best of luck and I'm gonna give them the best helpful advice that I can think of and so with that being said I think that if you are gonna to attempt to sell your house on your own you need to start meditating if you have not already been doing so in your life and what I mean by that is you have to take the entire emotional aspect out of selling your home and realize that you are putting on your business pants and you're coming into a business situation any buyer is not going to care about all the stories and all these great memories that have you have created when you lived in this home. They're simply trying to go out there and be smart, educate themselves, and not overpay for something and really just do their homework. They're gonna bring a home inspector, home inspector in, they're gonna pick your home apart because a buyer paid them to. And so don't, don't stand there and take it all personally. It's only gonna create problems, it's only gonna get you mad, and it's only gonna make you resent this buyer. And really just see it from both sides and take a deep breath before you respond to anything. And really, this is business. You have to take the emotional aspect out of it. It is not going to benefit you in any way. We can all admit a buyer is trying to get your house for the least amount, and you as a seller, you're trying to sell it for the most. So just think you're coming into a business world. This is about money. This is about equity. And this is about buyer and you making decisions to keep a deal together. So if you have erased that emotional buffer what a real estate agent might be then just really really just find a way to calm yourself and stay relaxed during the time if you're lucky enough to get to the point where you have a contract in play and you're running towards the closing lot uh, closing table so best of luck out there if you have any further questions or want any other advice i'd be more than happy to talk uh, either give me a call or send me an email. Thank you.